thinking so much of the cup of black coffee, but rather the whole uh, can or two of monsters and rock stars. And a lot of us in, in my field have to drink to stay at night. That is, and, and that's a lot more caffeine than just a regular black cup of coffee, or cup of black coffee, rather. Yeah. I wouldn't stress too much on that kind of caffeine consumption, but when we're talking about the extreme caffeines or basically stimulants, right? Now we're starting to look into, you know, it affecting your, your heart. But for example, Panera has this, I don't even know the name of the drink, charged lemonade that is equivalent to four venti Starbucks drinks. That is crack in a drink. Like, like, like literally, do not drink that. You don't even know you're drinking the caffeine. You don't even know it. Like, you know, you know it's charged. Like, you know, so keep in mind that some of these, these sweet and hyperactive drinks are, they're really bad for you. So like, yeah, you're one cup of gel in the morning, you're fine. But like, if you're starting to drink these high energy drinks because you really need a boost or you're taking five hours, mm -hmm. not good. Or you could drink it accidentally and not know it has that right. much caffeine right. in it like me. Yeah. And you're right. And, and you literally slip. Like, well, I should like, should like, should like, other things that we consume, like I know, uh, a lot of the patients come in with a, a BC powder. Mm -hmm. BC powder has a lot of caffeine. Yep. Um, oh, all right, so uh, yeah, it's, it's really not a great drug. Excedrin I know we use it a lot. Yeah. Excedrin has a lot of caffeine. Mm -hmm. But they work. Be they work, though. I know they work. <laughs> <laughs> Frequently, I, I would recommend to see a stress test. Like, is it like if that happens twice a month, should I be worried or just like push cholesterol? It's definitely something that's worth talking to your physician about. Now, if you're seeing it like several times in a week, then I, especially if it's lasting for like I would say 30 minutes plus, I do think it's worth either seeing your primary care physician or going to an urgent care precinct somewhere where we can actually do tests because sometimes it is hard to tell. Is this a heart issue? Is this a GI issue? Until we actually run the tests, um, you know, in a, a medical setting. Okay. Yeah, that's a great point because it, it definitely can be so many other things. You know, like if you worked out the other day and now you're feeling chest pain here, it could be muscular skeletal. Like, but the, the key is that you don't know, right? right. And so that's why it's so important to see your doctor if you're having these symptoms because it could be like she said reflux if it happens 30 minutes after you eat it's probably something you ate but you don't know and it's it's just you don't want to take the risk it's better to know and find out than to not know. right because what you think may be bad gas might be a heart attack that's coming on but again we don't know i don't even know until i'm able to get the ekg and actually look and see what's going on so you know you can describe the symptoms and i'm like okay let me go ahead and run a couple of tests and make sure that it's not this and not that and then once we've ruled out those emergent conditions, now, okay, maybe it might be that gas, you know? Okay. Yes, uh, that's a question about the stents and uh, uh, practices different doctors have. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a friend that I think they put two or three in him. Mm -hmm. And the doctor changed his diet. He, he took him off of meat and told him to eat none of the vegetables and fruit for, for a whole month. Is that normal practice for a doctor? I think it's ideal practice. I can't say that all doctors do that, but um, it sounds like this it's doctor is taking what we call <laughs> a multimodal approach. You know, not just medical intervention, but also lifestyle alterations because you want to get the best outcome possible, right? So I, I think that it was in very good judgment for that doctor to recommend that. And I can't unfortunately say that all physicians do that, but the good ones do. And I will say, I, I, in my personal experience, I see caffeine usage a lot in the ED. I mean, I am guilty as charged, to be honest with you, because 
you know, I feel like these days a lot of us are just like perpetually tired and then we end up on these caffeine binges or I'm not gonna call it an addiction, but we feel like we really need that fix to help get us through and then we have the, the crash from the caffeine, right? And then we basically take in more caffeine to combat the crash. So it is something that's a bit pervasive in America in general, you know, not just among the black communities, but also, you know, white communities, um, all populations really. It's just kind of something that's starting to brew up over time. I actually had a nutritionist tell me this, and it makes like sense. I don't know the science behind it, so don't kill me. <laughs> she was telling me water is literally your best caffeinator. Like, it, even though water doesn't have mm -hmm. caffeine in it, the more you consume it, your body will naturally have to go to the restroom. Mm -hmm. You're not going to go to sleep. Right. So, whenever I have <laughs> like, no, it's not, it's yeah, going to keep going to the So, that's some, like one of the things I did. I stopped drinking a lot of the monsters and energy drinks, uh, well, Celsius, really. Cause, and I started just drinking water, 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 water. Mm -hmm. And I noticed myself every 30, 40 minutes. Like, I might get a little drowsy, but yeah. I'm getting up, walking, going to the yeah. I, Oh, I have a question for him. Yes. So when you were drink when you were drinking a lot of the monster drinks, mm -hmm. were you having that heart feeling you were talking about? Yes, you drink too many in a in a quick period, absolutely. Uh, but the the worst thing is it just makes you gain weight. Like you will put on weight. Yeah, yeah. What about so that? Man, especially if it's the non sugar free ones, you it's just bad. Mm -hmm. But now that you're not you decline drinking a lot of those. Do you have less of those pains? Yes, for sure. So that could have been causing your pain. I'm diagnosing him. You know, I mean, that definitely is a whole lot of me. You may not know where it's coming from. Right. That's why I was asking, how do you determine an episode? That's, that's mm -hmm. what I was just trying to figure out. Yeah, so you bring up some great points because caffeine, and this includes your your morning cup of, um, of joe, and some teas are like a diuretic, meaning that it basically, it dehydrates you if you take it in large amounts, right? And if you're dehydrated, you're going to feel that fatigue, and then you need to rehydrate yourself with water. Um, and the caffeine is stimulant, right? So it can create palpitations or that lightheadedness if you take too much of it. So really, caffeine is, is not a, a great product. Yes. Yeah, quick question on, on water. Uh, it, it said that, uh, well, a friend of mine told me if I wanted to lose weight, don't drink water and, and you can get more sleep. Don't drink water after 6 o'clock or eat anything after don't 6 o'clock. Don't drink water, don't eat anything. Because you, you'll get more rest. They say the more rest you get, the more you lose more weight. No, um, that's ba that's bad, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. <laughs> So drinking water is very important. One small point about drinking a lot of water because people often ask, okay, so do I need to be drinking six to eight gallons a day? Like how much water do I drink? There is such a thing as drinking too much water, okay? Water. That, that, that is a thing, you know, because I know that there's awesome Sorry. trends of us drinking more and more water, getting bigger and bigger jugs, trying to achieve a goal. Um, but there is such a thing as overdoing it and then throwing off your electrolytes in your body. So just keep that in mind. But drinking water is good. <laughs> Any other questions so far? All right, thank you guys.